loves the closet. It's her natural habitat. <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> Welcome to the Kitchen Jordan Show. Hi, Kitchen. And, uh, line? <laughs> In case you are new here, which like some of you are, in which case, welcome, okay. love you. There's some almonds at the corner. Just get some on your way in. You got him? Today we have dragged both of our wardrobes out here on these racks so we can see how much of our adult wardrobes would be permissible to wear on our racks. <laughs> to see how much of our clothes would be permissible to wear according to certain schools dress codes. And what schools are we doing today? We're doing my old schools! I went to six different schools before college. And then you went to like two different colleges. And I went to two different school. colleges and grad school. I've been, I've been to a lot of schools. Interestingly, when I was researching this, a couple of my schools don't have dress codes anymore. Yeah. My old schools also don't have dress codes. Yes, so progress is good. All right, so the first school we're doing is Berkeley Lake Elementary School. Bare midriffs, halter tops, tube tops, spaghetti straps, or fishnet jerseys. Fishnet jerseys? Oh, sexy. Sexy lacrosse. Underwear should not be showing. Rats. No, no off, off the, the shoulder, shoulder shirts. Shirt. Okay. What does off the shoulder mean? You definitely have sex with women, so you wish you should know. I'm That's an these women. <laughs> I'm gonna have sex with her, Kristen. <laughs> this is an off the shoulder top. I wish I had sex with her. <laughs> now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take everything off the rack that would be not allowed according to that rule and stick it on this rack. For people that are like, Jen, don't you have more clothes than this? She does. I do have like a few more shirts and stuff, but they were in my dirty hamper and it smelled bad. I didn't bring any of my clothes that smelled bad. I mean, I think I didn't. You've known this video was gonna be filmed for like a week now. Yeah. Oh my God, thanks! <laughs> Will you stop being such a brat? <laughs> Is this spaghetti? No. No. Wait, why don't you just... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna screenshot it, okay? Stop attacking me! <laughs> why are you always attacking me whenever I'm trying to do things? Because oh. I'm a <laughs> <laughs> We've talked about Thank you this. for, you know what, thank you for taking accountability. <laughs> accountability. Thank you for taking accountability. Jen is really a <laughs> This is a crop top. I think that's all the stuff that's... Okay. Wow, do you have like nothing? Is everything okay according to this rule? Yeah. According to the off the shoulder rule, yeah. One rule and one, it knocked out. One rule and it knocked out this much stuff. So let's go to rule two. Rule two. No Christians! What? what? Ripped or torn jeans or excessively short skirts, but they don't say what excessively is. Because yeah. excessively is very subjective. And also excessively on one person might not be excessive on another person. Yeah. For example, as I've mentioned before, see how like my fingertips barely uh, clear my vagine? Or is Jen's fingertips uh, are longer. I do have bigger hands you than you. You have bigger hands, but it doesn't mean anything. Jen is obsessed with the fact that she has bigger hands and I don't know why. Cause I should have been five six. You should not have been five six. I failed you. <laughs> PJ bottoms are not allowed. Leggings and tights must be worn under a dress or appropriately long shirt. For example, t-shirts and leggings are not an appropriate attire for school. Okay, so this is like an anti-leggings crusade. To me, a lot of these rules are just like weird when you consider that the adults are going to be like enforcing them on children. Mm -hmm. So does this count as frayed? Cause like this is not so much frayed as it is like a specific edging choice. I think this counts as frayed. I'm certainly afraid. <laughs> these are frayed. <laughs> These are my Harley Quinn shorts. Well, anyway, they're going in the no-no pile. Bye. Apparently I wouldn't be allowed to wear these in an elementary school. You haven't taken anything off yet. <laughs> wow, I really lo love that for you. That's really cool. Well, Cute. so cool. When you dress like an eight-year-old boy, you fit in at elementary schools. All right, well, let's move on. Clothing may not display anything offensive. Okay, so any yeah. t-shirts of your face are not allowed. I don't have any of those. Okay. Yeah, gone. Perfect, great, thank you for participating. Yeah. Would skulls be considered <gasps> offensive? Can oh, you not? Oh, I didn't even think of that. Could you not wear the skulls because you know it's what? offensive to dead people? Oh, well, but that, that is the next rule. It's clothing with alcoholic symbols, tobacco advertisements, guns, or symbols of death may not be worn. All right, get rid of the skulls, baby. Yeah. Symbol this is actually, it's the first time I've seen a symbols of death rule. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, I guess, you know what? Actually, because this is a photo of a person who's naked on a computer and you see a crack of their butt. So, oh. so actually, I think I probably wouldn't be allowed to wear this. It's so funny, I don't think a lot about my clothes until I start thinking about them through the lens of like... What's inappropriate? Yeah. Actually, this is a, like a, a, a comic book skirt I have, but I don't know what's on this. Like, it, there could be offensive things on this, and I don't realize like it. In the text? Like in the text. Benji, don't pee in the pool. Hey, thanks, babe. Mother will never taste the arsenic. 
Oh, God. It's cute, though, but it is about a dysfunctional family on a skirt. And schools know nothing about those. Wow, I'm learning a lot today about the things I put on my baddie. Okay, boys must wear their pants on their hips, no sagging, low riding pants, you're also not inappropriate. So the no sagging rule is racist. Yeah. It's always racist. Let's all so do a quick count real quick. If it hadn't been for that little butt crack, I'd have all my items still in play. I have 49 of my 80 items are still in play. And, and one. 19 of your 20 items are yeah. still in play. I could wear most of what I have. Yeah, and so could I. Now comes the traditional time in this video where we get one of our friends to be the principal and they determine whether or not we are breaking the rules for these two specific schools. Fortunately, the principal is attracted to me sexually. So I feel like I'm not gonna get like a fair shake. <laughs> Two guesses as to who the principal is. It's a horrible sentence. <laughs> because we're in pandemic times, the principal will be Bree. Whoa! How did you get here? I live here. Oh my, that's how. Okay. Oh that explains God. a lot. So here's what we're going to do. Okay. For two schools, you're going to evaluate whether or not we are following a dress code. And if for some reason we are breaking the dress code and you catch us, we have to wear the shame poncho. But if for some reason um, you accuse us of breaking the dress code, but we're actually correct, you have, you to, have wear to wear the, the shame poncho. poncho. Brain defense. <laughs> <laughs> In this case, shame defense. We're gonna give Bree the dress code. She's gonna get familiar with it. And while she's doing that, we're gonna go change. Woo! Hey. We were hungry. We had to stop our video and eat a meal. We're hungry little babies. We're hungry little babies. And also we're babies who have ADHD. Which means feeding ourselves is difficult. It's obviously really difficult. Like, Honestly, picking things to eat is one of the most paralyzing parts of my day. Which is why we are here to talk to you about HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a super easy meal kit solution that delivers full meals directly to your door with all the ingredients you need. All you gotta do is put them together. So today the HelloFresh meal that we will be preparing is pork meatloaf parm with spaghetti marinara. Fun fact, HelloFresh has more five-star recipes than any meal kit service. So you know you're gonna get something really good. Another fun fact about HelloFresh, all of their produce is sourced from local farmers. So that's probably why it's so delicious. Oh my God, we're ready to eat! Exciting! The final little piece is take some parm and sprinkle it on your meal. Wow. You know the food is good when people stop talking. If you want to try some tasty, tasty foods, go to HelloFresh.com and use code KitchenJorn14 to get 14 free meals with free shipping. Yeah. Back in this video. Please. Yes, come in. Oh, hello, Mrs. Principal. Hello, Mrs. Madame Principal. Yes, yes, yes. I'm glad you could come into my office. I've been getting some complaints about your outfits. Oh my gosh, from who? who? Which bitch? Jen, I believe your t-shirt is not offensive to anyone. Okay. So I believe you are in the clear. Wow. Okay. What, what about, about me? Well, Kristen, unfortunately, uh -huh. rule number three of the dress code states that excessively short skirts and shorts are not permitted and i unfortunately believe this could be considered excessively short. why is this excessively short look at it goes beyond my fingertips yeah it's it, excessive is not defined wow well okay should we tell principal i guess how i guess we, did? we have good news and bad news, we have good news okay. and bad news look at that there's a little there's a butt crack there's a butt crack there's a butt crack oh no this is a naked person with an ass oh no i'm gonna i'm showing this ass to all the students oh. that means we both have to wear the shame poncho unfortunately kristen you're also wearing the shame poncho yes but you're doing it first <laughs> all right miss missy Okay, that. <laughs> why was, you just, Are you okay? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I can put it on. Well, there we go. Now that's appropriate. <laughs> well, enjoy your shame, Poncho, <laughs> Miss Principal. I also like how I called you out for having a short. <laughs> your uh, mine is definitely shorter. Than yeah, yeah. Wow, marriage. Well, we both have real big heads. <laughs> Sucks to suck, I mean. <laughs> well. Uh, next school? Next school. Next school. Come on, ponchos. Okay. So Kristen, what school are we doing right now? <laughs> My first high school. What is it called? It was Jasper High School in Plano, Texas. Uh, this was the school I went to for ninth grade and then I moved. Yep. Clothing should be worn for the purposes for which it was designed. Which like, first of all. What does that mean? Second of all, 
That's, so like, that's is like over. a strap-on harness okay as long as you're using it for the per you're wearing it correctly? If you wear a strap-on harness, but it's just to carry your books in the back, it's not allowed. Sleepwear should not be worn at school. Okay, well, actually, I've started wearing more pajubers. Okay, I'm a pajuber person now. Deal with it, ladies. I could wear this anywhere. This is. Oops. She's you have sorry, to Sorry, it's like, I don't know. I, I don't have a lot of great, I don't have great spatial awareness. Excessively loose or tight garments are not acceptable. All clothing should be appropriately fitted. What does excessively loose or tight garments mean? So like this one's kind of loose. Do I have anything that's like really tight? The only thing about tight is that it punishes fat students. Honestly, I hate vague dress codes more than I hate dress codes with ridiculous rules. Because vague dress codes, I think can be more destructive because it's just like their way of being like, we can catch everybody. Sagging pants, okay, yeah. So sagging. Pants or shorts are not allowed. Cool. Which again, racist. racist. Undergarments should not be visible at any time. Undergarments pisses me off because yeah. usually, does that, if that includes bra straps? Wait, does that include bra straps? Yes. Okay. I wear pretty thick like sports bras generally. Like, would this be a problem at the school? Would they yeah. be like, stop it, you're slut? They'd be like, stop it, comma, you slut. slut. <laughs> you slut. <laughs> Dresses, skirts, skorts, shirts, shorts. Wow, that was hard to say. Pants, including shorts and pants with rips and holes, must cover all undergarments at all times whether in a standing, reaching, stooping, or sitting position. Chest, midriff, and buttocks should be covered at all times with material that is not see-through. I can tell you this right now, a lot of stuff isn't gonna make it. Also, like, let's be real, okay? Most pants, if you have to bend down, there's gonna be some crack coming out. In high school, I feel like my general vibe was just like, don't look at me. Yeah, and I, I feel like schools could just make a lot of students a day by just making that the thing. It doesn't say anything about off the shoulder. This, so, this dress code is so this, confusing. This dress code is very vague. If it doesn't say off the shoulder, well, I- Well, it says tube top, so I think that's what they mean by off the shoulder. Oh. I think this was just written by people who don't understand fashion. Oh, shoot, Magoot. I missed one last time. Oh, well. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsies. Even a pro made a mistake. makes mistakes. <laughs> this shows my midriff and also underwear because it's meant to, because it's cool, because it's super low cut and has two slits. You can see my panties. I usually wear it in Vegas. <laughs> Spaghetti. Off the shoulder. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> it's like a lot of pasta in this rack. Yeah. A lot of pasta make it up my rack too. Spaghetti. 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 Off the shoulder. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Hi. <laughs> I'm just a little fairy who lives in your closet. What you doing in there, little buddy? You gotta come out. You gotta come out. This is high school. I I don't come out for like another year and a half. You can definitely see my cleave. In. You can see. Yeah. A cleaver beef. We gotta get rid of it. Well, I don't generally wear things with beef, but. Oh, I forgot about this. What is that? That's a crop top combo. Oh, okay. I also forgot that one too. Okay, so I guess it's 33, 47. The more we're doing this, the more I'm realizing I messed up the last school. <laughs> I think that's it. Wow. Uh, all right, let's do a quick count. Let me do a quick count. Okay, I had one item <laughs> that I can't wear. Great, it it's, a different, it's a different item though. It's funny, this is also 33 out of 80. That you can't wear. That I can't wear, but it's a different 33. <laughs> and the more I get to know my wardrobe, the more I realize that it's offensive. And like my shirt with a butt on it would be technically allowed at this school because they didn't say anything about no butts or nudity. Dress codes are annoying and highly subjective. <laughs> and then, yes, you can come in. Okay. okay. We're coming. Thank We're you, coming. principal. Surprise, principal. We're you back. You have seen the last of us. Thanks. We're just kind of reliving the traumas of my childhood. With bigger boobs. Bigger boobs. Smaller yeah. dreams. Yeah. Smaller dreams, bigger boobs. <laughs> the adult experience. Asked you here because I've, again, been getting some complaints about your outfits. I feel like you're planting those complaints. I am doing nothing of the sort. Uh, Kristen? Yeah? First of all, this is a, an outfit that I saw last on elementary school student wearing. Yes. I think you're good. All right. All right. What about moi? I don't know about the the straps up here showing <gasps> through the uh, through the the neck of your shirt. Yeah. Okay, so I'm okay, but Jen's not okay. Yeah. Ding ding ding. Ding ding ding. ding. You are correct. All right, let me you get. You are correct. Yeah. Anyway, let's punish Jen. All, All right. right, Jen, take the shame poncho. Okay. It's really hot. Oh. Your heads may not fit through it, although you have a tiny head. Hey, no, let us all point and laugh. Actually, it looks cute on you. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's kind of annoying. God, I, I'm loving this look <laughs> on me. Wow, thanks everybody. Yes. Way to learn zero lessons. I've learned nothing. What I've learned is that I'm still sexy. That's our video. That's our video. That's our video. Thank you to our principal, and thank you to our clothing racks. And thank you to our racks thank for sticking with racks. us all these years. Thanks for seeing me through thick and thin. Okay. See you next time. <laughs> See you Bye. next time. Bye. Oh my God.